Adding your profile to a doddle really is just that, it's a doddle. Just go to adoddle.org and in the top right hand corner, click on add to the map. Here you can choose to start creating your profile straight away or find out some more of the benefits of creating your profile. So click create your profile now and this takes you to this page. It really is just like filling in a simple online form. Your project's name, your mission, so in other words, providing support to, or something like that. Then select what type of organisation you are, charity, not-for-profit, community project, etc. If you're a charity or an organisation that has a registered number, then you add this here. Then click and choose how many um, different categories you fit, advocacy, crisis, you click as many of them are relevant to your organisation and the work you do. If you choose more than one, you then have a choice of choosing which is your prime category. This is important, it's the um, icon that shows on your pinpoint on the map. Then choose, are your services free, low cost, subsidised? Again, choose as many as fit your organisation. Next, think about how is somebody or why is somebody searching for you? Do they need help? Do they want to help you? Again, click as many are as relevant to your organisation. Contact details. You must have at least one form of contact details. This could be a website, email address, your social media. So you select one, add that, and then you can add more. So you add another option. Choose what it is. Remember to fill in the details. Then you can add your logo for your organisation. The accepted file formats are JPEG or PNG. Next is your location. Now this is really important. You may be a small organisation that doesn't want to share exactly where you're based, but that you work in an area. So if you put down the basics, the town, the post, a postcode and that, then you can click on hide this address from the public. That means it will just show you're in an area. If you feel it's too close to where you actually are, move the pinpoint just a little bit and put that in there, just so it shows that you're in an area. Next is our terms of service. There's the simple ones that gives you all the basics, but there is the main you know, all the legal jargon and, and everything else here. Please do click through that and check that you're happy. Click that you accept. There is an opportunity for you to sign up for our newsletter somewhere as well. Um, then click add your project to the map. The next page that will show is this. Congratulations that it's now been added to the map. Well, it's not actually been added yet. You need to add a little bit more information. So click this one, let's get your project to 100% completion. This takes you to your dashboard where you see all of your opportunities. It shows you how complete your profile is. You have the essentials, which is what you've already completed. Okay, next you have your story. This is three sections. Think of who you help and why you help. So it's the overview of what you do. Then the next bit is the difference that you make to people's lives through what you do. So what's the difference you're going to make to their lives um, through your service? And the next one is how can somebody help you? What volunteering opportunities? Do you need somebody to help paint a room? Do you need somebody to do your accounts? Do you need somebody to do your social media? And the last one is for anything else that you haven't already added additional information. You can come in and you can edit your location at any time, so you have access to that. There's another one, opening hours. So are you, is this relevant to you or are you open the whole time? But to add your opening hours is really easy. You have a whole host. It could be that you're open every Monday from nine till five, or it could be that it's the last Monday of every month or the first Monday of every month, or the second, so you've got a whole host of choices to fit with you. It could be that you're only open in the school holidays on a Monday, or you're not on bank holidays, or it's appointment only, or you're closed. So the choices are there for you. Next, your contact information. 
we recommend that you add as many as you possibly can your website if you've got one or you might be using your profile as your website but your social media do you have a donation page um, think of it lots of people want to do as much research before they get in contact the next one is media you can add your logo you can add images and have a gallery and then you can change the design you can change the colour of this to the colour that matches your organisation for your organisation's branding. You can add a header image. You really can make this about you and your organisations. Next, I'll show you the settings. Now, say for some reason that you're actually closed at the moment. Um, it could be for COVID. You can say you can come in and rather than deleting your profile, you can come in and say, no, please hide my profile from the, the public. You can also say you don't want it to show in the latest updated projects if you want. I'm not sure why that would be, but that's your choice. And save the settings so you have full control over your profile. To show you how some profiles can be literally made to the organisation, here's one, Recovery Devon. It's their colours, it's got their logo, a banner. It's like a mini website, the overview, what we do volunteering opportunities and the gallery. It shows you where the organisation is, the address can come down here and this one shows you it's been hidden. Okay, and then how to get in contact. Then there's a simple click get in contact on the page so that people can get in contact with you. Here's another one, time to talk. Again, it looks so different yet the overview and how people find the information they need is the same. Another one, Headway Devon, again, and Heritage Ability. So you really have got the flexibility to make the profile yours for your organisation. Any questions, don't hesitate to get in contact.